In today's video, we'll be discussing how to create your own GameCube to USB-C cable for use with the Pro GCC, Junk Food Arcade, Frame 1, or Box controllers. This will require a few parts that can be sourced from Amazon or similar online sources. Links will be provided in the description. We will need a USB-C mail header, heat shrink tubing, some super glue, and a GameCube controller extension cord. The first step is deciding what you want your cable to look like. If you decide that you want to wrap your wire in paracord, then you will need to snip off the extender end that doesn't have the original GameCube port. We recommend putting a drop of super glue on the end of the cable and allowing it to dry. This will keep the wires from coming out of the cable as you're wrapping it in the paracord. You can then essentially inch the paracord up the length of the cable until you reach the end. This is a relatively slow process, but as long as you take your time and make sure none of the paracord gets bunched up anywhere, you should be able to get the process done relatively quickly. Once you make it to the end, you can cut off any extra paracord that you may still have. Before we begin wiring up the connector, make sure to slide the end of the USB-C cover over the wire. We will then strip back any of the shielding, revealing the five wires hidden inside of the extension cable. The wire code is the same as hardwiring Pro GCCs. Red is data, white is 5 volt, green is 3.3 volt, and black and yellow are ground. Since our wire is too thick, I will not be using the small plastic piece that sticks out of the end of the plug. Instead, I will be gluing the plug together and heat shrinking the end to help fit the design of the cable. From here, we can begin wiring for the USB-C end. There is one side of the USB-C header that will have two pads, and the other should have six pads. We will start by tinning the pads that we will be using. In this case, we'll be using pads B11 and A2 on the side with the six pads. After applying some solder to those two pads, we'll then flip the PCB over and we'll be using both pads on the other side. Your data wire, the red one, will get soldered to B11, while your 3.3 volt, the green one, will get soldered to pin A2. Make sure neither of these connections are bridging since they are in a relatively small location. On the other side of the PCB, we will solder the white wire, our 5V connection, to the pad labeled V+. The last two remaining wires are both ground, so they will be soldered to the pad labeled G. Once you are done with your wiring, you can put on the other end of the USB-C cover and glue them together. I will finish this by putting some heat shrink tubing over the entire connector and achieving the final look. It's just that easy to create your own Pro GCC cable. We hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe and check out our wiki in the description.